Hello, hope everybody. Let's try send it to the group so people can know I am live. Exactly. Hey, anybody there? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I am waiting for everyone to come on, but let's see the first person to come. Who is the first one to come? Oof. I will share this into the group. Ah, share. You have to know how you're going to enjoy it now. If you're here with me, you need your earphone. <laughs> You the volume then. I have a special guest with me here today. So let's see. And we're going to be doing something really, really nice. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm sharing this into the group now. Where's the Facebook group? The Facebook group. I think I named this unboxing first. We have something to unbox today, guys. I'll go online. Let's see. <laughs> You're welcome, Angie. Who else is here with us? We'll wait for more people to come. Just five more, five to ten minutes to we'll wait and then we we'll start. Hello, hello, hello. Whoever is there, can we know who you are and where you are from? Are you new on my channel? Are you returning? Hey, Mary. Mary, I need you today. If you're busy, please stay with me because there's something really exciting you need to help me with. I hope you get that, Mary. Hey, Mary, you're welcome. Hey, hey, hey. I can see there are four people with us. Now let's wait for a bit more and I will be showing you what we're doing. It's really, really interesting. I have something really, really interesting today. Today we're going to be doing boat sublimation. Oh, yeah, thank you. Returning and from Michigan. Okay. Welcome, Mary. I got some sublimation blanks. Ah. Hey, Liz. Oh, Liz, I need you guys here today because there's something really interesting going on. Really, really interesting. Hi, 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 Liz. Anyways, like I was saying, I got this unrepresented polyester. We usually don't have unrepresented polyester around here. But I went into the uniform shop, my children's uniform shop, and I got this. Would you believe for how much? I wouldn't tell you how much now. But I am so excited and I'm making one for myself today. I own represent polyester t-shirt and this is called Express Subly. I tried to look for it online because where I got it is not, normally we don't buy anything from there. We only buy school uniforms. Express Subly Plus. Hi, Mary. I'm now curious. You should be curious because there's something. There's something <laughs> coming up today that I I sometimes said it, but we never did it. But now today is coming up. Anyways, so this I'm making for myself. And I have this very, 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 look at that. Look at that. I have that to put on it. And I'm also going to be making one of my stockings as well. And I printed the design as well to put on it. But then, before we go sublimation Sunday, <laughs> um, who is curious like me? There's something, there's something I want to show you. And I need your help with it. I really need your help with it. Because I can't do that alone. Okay, you know what we'll do? Can we see the brand of clothes? Okay, okay. 
I'll show you up close. Can you see that? Espresso Bli Plus. I only got this from my children's uniform shop. It was on clearance. So I got every one of it from the basket. It was in the clearance basket. I got every one of it because it's a 100% polyester t-shirt. Yep, see, see it's a 100% polyester. I hope you can see that. How do I make you see it? Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, 100% polyester. This is just a steel. I just found it. I normally do not go there for... We don't even get sublimation blanks around here. So that's why I've not been able to do a lot of T-shirt sublimation. All I do is look for fabrics that are 100% polyester to do my cushions and my anything I want to do. I just have to sew it myself because we don't get the blanks here. But today I have that and I'm going to be putting this nice design from, from design bundles. I think we should do that first. Then after that, we go to my surprise. <laughs> now, there is surprise on here today. You just have to hold on and wait for it. Hi, Bob. Hey. It's nice to have you. <laughs> There's something special we're doing here today. I don't want to tell anyone. But for those that do sublimation, embroidery, HTV, today's sublimation Sunday is a different kind of sublimation Sunday. So, <laughs> so let's, like you know me, I wouldn't do my live stream for forever. I would only do between one and two hours. So I'm not just going to keep you long for nothing. It's going to come out soon. But first, we want to sublimate our T-shirt that I found. I found this blank t-shirt in my children's um, um, uniform shop. I went to get uniform and I got this and it's a 100% polyester. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for coming. Would you please thumbs up to the video so more people know we're here and they can join us as well. So we're sublimating on this. And on one of the stockings, we're doing a stocking and that, then I'll bring out my surprise. <laughs> it's not so much of a surprise. I'm just excited because I need all your help with that now. I need your help to do it. I cannot do the surprise on my own. I need your help. So stay tuned. But first, we go to sublimation and we sublimate on our stocking and our T-shirt. Before the end of this video, I should be wearing this T-shirt. Finger crossed it goes on very well. Now, I want to change my settings to 400. I do my sublimation for 400. 400 degree, degree Fahrenheit. I use Fahrenheit here. So I do 400. And I do it for 60 seconds. I always do mine for 60 seconds. 400 degree Fahrenheit. She's teasing us. I'm not teasing you. There's something here. I'm not teasing you now. There's something new that I've never done on Sublimation Sunday. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's not about sublimation, but it's something really nice. <laughs> Anyways, first we sublimate our t-shirt and we sublimate our stocking. Then we go to the surprise. You have to stay to the end to see this. <laughs> <laughs> so I do my sublimation for 400 degree Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. That is my sweet spot. My sweet spot is 400 degree Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. I'll be doing this t-shirt first because I'm so excited to see what this t-shirt is going to turn out to be like. I got loads of it and I haven't done anything with it. I'll be doing them mostly for myself. Because if I sell them and people want more, there is no way I can get more because I only got it from my uniform shop. So I'll be safe and not try to like advertise and sell them. If I do, 
If you want more, I can't produce more. I'll be a very bad crafter, you know. <laughs> now, that's a hundred percent polyester t-shirt. I want to go that way. Yep, a hundred percent polyester. Lint roll always with sublimation. We want to lint roll always. I'll prepress first before laying. Now, guys, I'll tell you, you see my heat press, I really love it, but I miss my old heat press. <laughs> if my old heat press was as big as this one, I would have gone back to my old heat press. Since I started this craft, I've never had bonds, but I've been having bonds with this heat press because my hand is always going to the bottom. It's not pull out. So I'm not saying I regret buying it. It's a really good one, but then I do not want bonds, and it's giving me bones on my my knuckles so that now from bones so Liz, i know you're an expert at this <laughs> i love to watch your videos when you're sublimating like Liz, if anyone has not subscribed to Liz, please do subscribe to her she's a very very good she's very good with sublimation and I just watch your, um, what's it called? The shoe, the video on the shoes, like, and I think you're, you're very talented. I think you're very, very talented. Now, so I have put a butcher paper in between my t-shirts so it doesn't bleed through to the other side. That's the reason why you put something in between so your design is not showing at the back of your t-shirt. And I'll prepress again. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Marisa. It's nice to have you. We are doing a simple t-shirt first and then I'm going to be sublimating on my... The stocking I made, like... <laughs> And then we have a surprise. Something I really need you guys to help me with. But for now, we go with sublimation because it's supposed to be sublimation Sunday. So we do sublimation first. Then we go ahead to the next surprise project, which I need you all to help me with. I did all the printing together because of my A3... I use the A3 um, paper, so I printed them together. That's what we're sublimating. What do you think about it? Isn't it nice? Yeah, I'm putting that on my on one of the T-shirts just to see how the T-shirt will be. It's a, it looks like a nice T-shirt though, but still, I'm ripping the sides to avoid ash lines. I hope you know that. To avoid ash lines, you can rip. Instead of cutting with scissors, you rip. This is gonna be really nice. I'm excited now. I love this design. I got the design of design bundles. So, design bundles has a lot of lovely designs. I do not have an affiliate link yet. I should have an affiliate link. Because every time I talk about them, I keep thinking, oh, free adverts I'm giving to them now. <laughs> but then, I'm not very patient to design anything myself. I get designs from them, and I put it all together, and it looks nice. So, they are doing the job. I should give them the credits for doing the job. My heat press is not ready. So this design, this lovely design, is going to be going in front of this T-shirt, which I got, I just got it from, from my children's school uniform um, shop. I just found it there. It's on clearance there. So, and it's called Subly, Express Subly. So don't ask me because it's not a proper shop <laughs> to buy to buy blanks, I just got it there and I'm going to be wearing it. I'm excited to try it. Oops. Anyways, so lint roll, I'm lint rolling. 
Guys, always remember to lean through. It's the difference between having a sharp image and just having an image on your t-shirt. So, I am pre-pressing for some seconds. And that's it. And our image is ready to go on. Now I have my heat-resistant tape. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting blank. I'm going blank now. And my image goes in the center of my t-shirt. Is there anyone asking me anything? Do you have any question? You can ask. Three fingers down. No, four fingers I do. Four fingers. And I put it in the middle. And I make sure it's straight. If you want to know the middle of your design, you can as well just do that from one edge to the other and just pinch, pinch a little bit. Don't pinch too hard, pinch a little bit. I do that sometimes, but then I can really highball this. So middle there. Okay. Now I'll use my heat resistant tape to hold it down. And we're going to be sublimating this for 60 seconds, 460 seconds. My heat press is not even getting close at all. 294. Now it's ready to be sublimated on. I hope we have a good. I have been to chicken to try this yet. Oh, terrible getting polyester. Polyester t shirts are really, really hard to come by. I must tell you this. Even in Ireland, where I live, um, you would only get the most you get, I think, 75% polyester. And that doesn't do it. You need 100% polyester. When you get the 100% polyester, they're usually very thin, very, very thin. Or you get the spot one. They, I don't like them. But this one is really nice. It's really, really nice. I try to go on their website, but when I got on their website, they sell this T-shirt in the hundreds. I cannot buy 100 yet. <laughs> so I don't know what the school uniform shop was doing with them, but good for me that it was on clearance and I could get it. So we're ready to sublimate our T-shirts. For my heat press, it's not at 400 yet. I would wait for it to get to 400. Usually, I won't leave it on the heat press, but uh, it's here and I can't be bothered to be removing it. Now, <clears throat> while we do that, we get ready for the next um, sublimation, which is sublimation on my stocking. covering it with this so that it doesn't bleed to my heat press and then oh no this is a really nice design as well from design bundles it's a christmas gnome it's from design bundles as well hi shonda is that shonda i'm sorry if i butchered your name shonda <laughs> now this is another one and um, it's going on the stocking i use the a3 a3 sheet to print all my designs at once. That's what's happening here. So I'm just um, pierce, um, removing them from the one design. You said it right. Okay, Shanda. That's good. Now, while we wait for the heat press to get to 400 to sublimate this t-shirt, Shanda, you're just coming. I'm telling you what's happening today. We have something special. I love the I love design bundles. Design bundles is really nice. It's just when I pay them my $9.99, I just think I'm not getting enough for that $9.99 because if I want to buy any other design that's not um, in my bundle, then I have to pay extra. I think I should have everything like 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 what's that called? Fabrica? Creative Fabrica. But Creative Fabrica is more expensive, so that's you have to choose one. Either you pay more and get everything or you get whatever you need when you need them. 
and pay for it when you need them. And I think sometimes we get too much designs, design we never even use anyway. We just keep packing them. I have a lot of embroidery designs. I never go near them like. <laughs> so I'll be preparing my stockings while we sublimate my t-shirts. And trust me, I'll be changing this t-shirt to this one. Once it goes right, I'm just gonna be changing it and putting the new one on. I am very impatient. <laughs> Now, what we want to do with the stocking now is to lint roll as well. I'll be lint rolling my stocking. Where's my lint roll again? Everything seems to run away when I'm doing live stream. Okay, thank you. Here, lint roll, always remember to lint roll. 389 is almost there. Now I'm lint rolling the stocking. And I'm going to Prepare the design as well. What Creative Fabrica has. Yeah, I know, but they are more expensive and... Ah, I'm sorry, I don't really... I'm not that rich, like... So I manage whatever resources I have. So I went for the 9.99 one instead of going for the... I think 19.99 the Creative Fabrica is. But I hear Creative Fabrica are really nice as well. I see a lot of nice designs on them. Now... That's why it pressed 400. So I'm going to be sublimating that for 60 seconds. Ugh. While we're waiting for that now, we can do our stocking, lint roll. I'm going to be doing it twice because this, this side and the bottom bit, they have, um, D there will be different pressure now because if this side is more more bulky, yeah, it's bulkier than here. Creative Fabrica will have sale coming soon. Oh, that would be nice. I'll watch out. <laughs> Although I bought a lot and a lot already, so I don't think I would need anything. So because of the bulkiness here, we will not have the same pressure going here and there. So I'll have to do it twice. If this was a flat stocking, I can do the name and the design at once. But then if I do this, this will get a lot of pressure. That we don't get it. So I'll do it twice. So my Christmas gnome. Oops, there already. That was fast. Are you ready to see the reveal? Oh, oh, oh my black magic woman. That was fast, but that's 60 seconds. Okay. It doesn't sound like it was 60 seconds. Oh, does anyone want to see this? Oh no. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. I love it. 100% polyester is just the best. Oh my god. Ah, there's still more ink here. Uh -huh. I think I should have. Should I have done it longer? Or is the pressure not much? Anyway, but it still turned out really nice. Can you see that? Am I doing it the wrong way? Ooh. Sorry, my phone was <laughs> ringing mid live stream anyway look at that now that turned out really really vibrant a hundred percent polyester t-shirt is just the best it is the best i tell you ah ah someone i'm blushing <laughs> I'm going to switch off this phone now, if this person doesn't know I don't want to talk. Now, so that's our first project done now. And trust me, I'm going to put it on. <laughs> I am not going to wait. But before I go put this on, I hope the camera is doing justice to this. Yeah, you can see all the colors. So much color and that's so nice now. 
So we're doing our stocking now. We're going to be sublimating our stocking. This is a Christmas stocking, and I have this gnome design, the gnome with a present. So I'm going to be putting this there. And heat resistant tape. Always remember to use your tape to avoid ghosting. If you don't want any ghosting on your project, use your tape. It will hold it down and avoid ghosting. Now, do you know one thing about this? Um, what's this material again that I use? Crushed velour. It doesn't bleed to the other side. It's a really nice material. But I'm not going to risk it today, but it doesn't bleed. I've always tried it. It doesn't bleed. But I'm going to put some paper inside it now in case it does bleed, but it doesn't bleed. To protect the... So I'm sublimating this now, the same 460 seconds. And I think this needs more pressure than the first one. Yes. Yes, that's better. So wait while I go change my Shania. Hey, Liz. Hey, Shana. Hey, Shana. <laughs> oh, there's something. Shana, please stay with me if you can. There's something you guys need to help me with. Anyways, we've just finished sublimating this and I am going to put it on. I am going to put it on. Now, two minutes and I'll be back. Should I? I should put it on this anyway. Why am I going anyway? I just put it on. I'll layer it. Ha! No, I am not. My hair is not, yeah. So I stuck in. Oh no, this is really nice as well. It sublimates really well. This material, this um, fabric, I trust this fabric a hundred percent. Every time, it never dis disappoints me. Like I trust the fabric so much, and that's why I've made a stocking out of it. See. What do you guys think? Oh, it is lovely. It is lovely. Ah. Now I'll do the second one. I told you why I didn't do both at the same time, because the pressure will be different. The pressure on this side will be different from the one here, because this is more is bulkier. It's a fold, like I'll show you. It's a fold. You see? It's a fold. It's folded down that way. And that is why. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And that is why I would not sublimate that the same time as this one. But if you have a better way of doing it, tell me and I can learn from you as well. So we're going to put the name of the child, the lucky child, on here now. And the lucky child is an American. <laughs> the lucky child name is start from B. Oh, it's a city in America, like. Okay. So we're going to put that. And remember your heat-resistant tape always, please, always. Heat-resistant tape. So it doesn't shift or move on you and cause ghosting. If you do not want to see any kind of ghosting, heat-resistant tape, please. Liz, if you want to um, order now, it's sold out. I'm sorry. The stockings are sold out now. I think I need my... I need my... Uh, that. Sorry. 
my battery is getting low and I need she makes the stockings that yes I did I did make the stockings myself <laughs> because there's so much going on in the market now and we can't even get stockings so I decided since I have been using this crush bella and it's a very good one I decided to make my stockings out of the crush bella and my stockings uh, 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 uh. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yes, they are sold out. I'm really sorry. You should do a pre-order. Okay. Um, at least talk to me on my let's inbox. We can do that through our inbox. I I know, but I don't want to do pre-order for everyone because <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be able to produce that much. Because the one I produced sold out in like 30 minutes. So I do not want to go through that again. If I do the pre-order, it will be between my people and I know how much I'm going to be making. Yes, so I'm putting the name now. So I'm making the name. This name. I want, yeah. I'm doing that for 460 seconds as well. 460 seconds. I want to avoid it resublimating that side, so I'm gonna push it down so that the side we've sublimated already is not in the heat press. So, oops, now, 60 seconds. Ha, ah, and while we wait for that, I wanna start telling you about this. I wanna, hey Richie, hey. We're sublimating Christmas stockings and I did sublimate this t-shirt which is a 100% polyester. It says black girl magic. It's really nice, but I'm not sure the light is doing justice to it, but it really came out really, really nice. I tell you, the colors are so vibrant. It's a 100% polyester t-shirt, which I found in the school, school uniform shop. <laughs> I just found it in the school uniform shop. They were on sales and I got them. So that's for that. The, the stocking I made myself from crushed vela. Crushed vela is called, and they are 100% polyester material. Crushed vela, 100% polyester material. Now, the other side of our stocking is done. And I can see it as nice as the first side already. I'll put on, I'll put off the heat press now because I don't think we need the heat press for the surprise. <laughs> Love how the shirt and stocking turned out. Yep. So now I have put the name. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Oops, it's hot. No one should be telling me that now. Can you see that? Oh, you see? Isn't that really nice? That's really, really, I'm proud of myself now. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself and I'm delighted it came out really nice. See? So, yeah. If there's a better way of doing these stockings, please tell me. If anyone knows of a better way of doing this kind of things, please tell me. This is one of the uh, designs I put up on my in my shop. Yeah, I did put it up in my shop, both on Etsy and in the in my in my own web on my own website so if you want me to make you one of these i do not mind i will be making a lot of this now yep so to the amazing <laughs> secret i've been keeping uh, who is excited now because we're done with sublimation for today and I am showing you my, where should I display? I need to display this. <laughs> I need to just display it somewhere. There. Everyone can see it there. Now I'm bringing the surprise. Who is still there? Liz, are you there? Mary, are you there? And um, my Shana, are you still there? Okay, I'm bringing it now. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's the surprise now. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shayna, did you see my surprise today? <laughs> this is a surprise, and I do not have any idea how this works or what's inside. But I know a lot of you have the PE 800. So you're going to be helping me. Oh, you not to go. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> Do not tell me congratulations now. I need to tell you this. One of my subscribers that live around here wants me to show her how this works. I do not own a P800. She was sent this from somebody help her buy it from America to send it here because we don't have it here now. We don't. Great to you. No, 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 no. It's not mine. It's not mine. <laughs> we're only unboxing it and we're going to be showing her how to use it. And that's why I need you guys here because I do not know how to use it myself. But I know a lot of you have it. So we're going to be showing. She's here in the studio with me, but she's a shy girl now. <laughs> she's a shy girl and she doesn't want to come online. Like, But then I need you guys to help me unbox this let's get straight to the unboxing anyway we unbox so would i not better put it on the floor what do you think i leave it on the table it shouldn't be any harder than the genome you think so okay we'll open it first we should be popping balloons or popping what while opening it celebrating it Brother machine are very easy to use. Okay. We would be showing her now. I'm seeing it for the first time myself. It's not open. Oh, no, brother, but I am sure they are easy. Okay. Is there anyone with the brother machine around? If you use a brother machine, especially the PE800. we get from it is instructions and manuals i know a lot of us don't read instructions and manuals but it's really important what's that now anyone knows where are my brother users where are you guys help me i think that's the cover yeah that's to cover the machine okay now we know what that is now i need to bring this down Ugh. where are the brother users where are you oh that's the hoop in it i think we should find it relatively easy it came with a spare um, thread. And the big man is here. <laughs> Woo. Liz, where's Liz? Does Liz do embroidery? I need help, guys. That's why I want you to stay around. I do not use a brother machine myself. Oh, you missed the uh, 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 reveal. <laughs> That's the big reveal. We have a machine. For one of my subscribers who is in here with me. That's exciting. <laughs> I wish it was mine. It's not now. But at least we know what's inside. Oh my God, you got a machine. No, I didn't get a machine. One of my subscribers and she lives around here. She wants me to tell her how it works. I do not know anything about brother machines and we are going to be doing it together. So we just unbox that together now and we want to see how this works. This 
this is a really good machine, you know, from the look of it. We want to take all the packaging out. Ah, it's so like my one anyway. Should work close to your genome. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's almost the same now. Uh. Is there anyone among us that basic ideas of each? Yeah. Is there anyone? Which one is it? Is the PE800? The PE800 now. Is there anyone with the PE800 amongst us? If you use the PE800, please, I wouldn't be scared. No, I'm not. I just want to unlock, unbox it with every one of you guys. You know, I love to do whatever is interesting, whatever is exciting, do it with you guys. Oh, mine is PE770. Okay. Now I'm still blushing about this shirt now. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> and that Nancy has PE 800. Oh, is Nancy? No, Nancy is not here today. I wish there was anyone with a PE 800 here. And they could just tell us how maybe to thread or anything. But then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're getting there. The P800 comes with just one hoop. I'm surprised now. Guys. Okay. I've been able to put the extension. Nancy, where are you? Yes, where is Nancy? <laughs> Someone should call Nancy for us. It only has one hoop. Can you believe that? Ah, anyways. And what's the size of the hoop? I'll try and measure it. Since we have no one with the P800 around, I'll measure this to see what's the size of the hoop. I just messaged her to see if she's available. Oh, thank you. Anyway, we'll continue doing as much as we can. I have brother Inovis V3 just follow treading. Yeah. Does that open? Don't know. We don't want to mess it. Maybe we'll get the manual if we're unable to do that. If there's no one to help us, don't burn yourself on the press. No, the press is. That's true. Thank you, Shayna. We're too close to the press now. I put it down. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Olu, I'm driving, but I can try help. Thank you, Nancy. Welcome. <laughs> we have no idea. I'm I'm a Janome girl. Hey, oh Maria. <laughs> Hello. See what we're unboxing. We're unboxing the PE 800. <laughs> <laughs> single needles at last no no mine this is for one of my subscribers she's in here she's just too scared to come come look at you guys face <laughs> she doesn't want to be seen she wants me to help her to help her um unbox this and tell her how it works i do not use this but she trusts me so much she think i she think i'm a superwoman <laughs> Yeah, she just thinks I can do everything. So I'm like, okay, I have my people as well. So I called in everyone. Come help me unbox this PE 800. Now we've unboxed. I can see it has the American pin because it's not meant to be used in the EU. It's for America. And I will try to see if I can get a converter, which I'm not sure I have now. I think we are going to reach a dead end. <laughs> If we can't plug it in, I do not have. I'm seeing it for the first time now. Very first time. Very, very first time. Ah. Hey, Maria, before you came in, we did this t-shirt I'm putting on. Sublimation. And we did my stocking. My... Yeah. We did my stocking. I actually did um, sew this. 
Maria, how you got Peter into it? No, I didn't. It's for someone that someone is in this place. She just doesn't want to see your faces. <laughs> no, I think we have reached a dead end now because this is disturbing my view. Yeah. Oh no, we've gone dark. Anyway, because this has um the American plug. See, we use we use this here. So I don't know. Now that um, Nancy is here to help us, <laughs> we are actually at a dead end. Ah. Ah. I do not have any of the converters around and and I think <laughs> Oh, such a shame that we have everyone here to help us now. And what do you guys think we should do? Lizzybug is going to stream a new game now on letting you know. You... Oh, I don't know. Oh, thanks, Mary. Uh, let them watch. Okay. So what do we do to this now? I think we're at the dead end. We are. We have unboxed our PE 800. Does this open? Yes, it does. And that's where the thread goes. Oh, no. How oh, I wish we could just do something. Oh. Now, there's nothing we can do about that now. We've tried our best, haven't we? Yeah, so we have to get a converter so we can actually plug this in and see it light up and see how it works. But maybe I'll be doing a video on how it works or not, or how I showed her what to do. I don't know. But for now, we finished our sublimation Sunday because mm, flip it up. How? How do I flip it up? Oh, this. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you because we called you and you came to our rescue. Thank you so much. It's just that mm, there's nothing we can do now. Ah, so this is what we did today. Ah, if you want to support me, actually, and you want to buy some of these stockings, like, please go on my website. My website is www.thebodymatdesigns.ie. Please, this would, can you borrow a plug from my genome? Does it work with it? Let's see. No, that's not the, oh, oh, it is. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> it's the same plug. Can you believe that? I'll see you now. Ah, it looks the same. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, it is the same. <laughs> It is the same. It is the same. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Can you see that light up? Ah. Oh, the PT800 is beautiful. It is beautiful. I didn't know it's this beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh. Thanks, Mary, for telling us that. I didn't know, like. Now, treading. Mary, my girls. Oh, sorry. Shouldn't be. Oh, I'm so excited now. Like, we can finally. So, the bobbin. I wind my bobbins. It didn't come with any pre-worn bobbins. So, I'm going to wind a bobbin for it. Or I use one of my wand one. Do I have a bobbin there? Yes, I always have bobbins, spare bobbins every time. I pre-wind my bobbins and I have them around right now. Anyways, we have something we can, let's, let's pray they use the same size. So the same size bobbins, yeah, they use the same size bobbins with my Genomi 500E.
Is our lady still there? So I'm gonna be dropping this in, I guess. Yep, yeah. easy. Drop it in. Yep, just like my Janome one. Like. Yep, easy. Easy. <laughs> and we'll not open your thread yet. We we'll use our thread. I have a thread we can use. And this is my um what's it called broad thread i use broad thread why am i shaking now <laughs> i shouldn't be scared of this machine but it's actually re a really lovely machine like it looks very sleek Follow instructions goes. Hold on. Now. Okay. There. Yes, I use same bobbin with my genome. Yep, yep, yep. It's working. There. Up here. And there. And down. It's quite easy to thread, like. Let's hope we're doing the right thing though. Yeah, it's off. Thread. It's kind of hard, so. Is it getting stuck or something? Okay. Comes up. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Six and the trader seven. Now the trader. Who is there to help me with that now? I use same bob. Yeah, <clears throat> it's gone into seven and do I press it down or up? What do you do with the trader, guys? My genome, P no, this is not genome now. This is brother PE 800. I guess Nancy is gone. Any other person uses? Yeah, Nancy is really busy and she was called into this. Anyway, we will try our best to see what we can do. I'll, do, I'll try that. We just have to push it down. This trader, I do not know. I have two genomes, yeah. It should be the hard to pull thread through. It should not be, yeah. I don't think it should be that hard anyway. I think there's some kind of resistance somewhere. But we'll see. We'll see how it sews. The trader now. It do the rest. Oh, it will do the rest. Oh, I just put it on the seven. Did you hear that? I leave it on the seven light. Ah, okay. Nice. I love meeting other genome owners. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we do magic, don't we? So I have a lot of designs on this and we're going to be doing Video keep getting behind, bad signal, I'm not, oh, okay, 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 okay. We'd always wait for you, because we'll do as much as we can, and then we we'll wait. If we're stuck, we'll wait for your response. Uh, this does not come with it, this is from my machine, I'm just used to doing that now. So where do we go? Ah, select your language, English. The carriage of the embroidery unit will move. Keep your hands away. Okay. You! <laughs> Am I not too excited about this now? <laughs> do I use? We can just do one of the designs on it. Yeah, we do the A. Yeah. But you gotta pull the lever down. 
which lever this one or when when which one is it when we want to start sewing do you mean that one pull the treader lever down and it will do the rest pull it down pull it down Oh. Oh. Oops. Ah uh, no. That's not doing the job. Did it tread? No, no, no. I'm supposed to pull this down now and it's coming down, but not treading. Nancy, help me. Or oh, is there something I didn't do right? You know what? We have a manual here. You need to get up. Why? <laughs> Why do I need to get up for a machine? <laughs> no. This machine will not take a stand innovation from me. At the end of the left, at the end, this left here. Huh? That's for sewing, isn't it? Where cutter usually is. Cutter. Okay. There. Oh, yes. Thank you. Now. <laughs> okay, so I'll do this. Ah, now I get it. Didn't tread yet though. Uh, am I doing something wrong? It's not treading. Maybe we have around six to seven, six to seven. Yeah. Guys, look where the thread cutter usually in a regular sewing machine. That's the needle threader. They run, pull down and it will thread. It's not. It says it comes there, here, down. And this is the threader. That's not threaded yet. Now, lift. The foot, the foot is up. Oh, definitely up. That's down and this is up. You want me to bring the camera closer? I'll bring the camera closer. Sorry. So I'm supposed to ride. I'm bringing the camera closer now. Yeah. Yes, now. I think maybe we didn't thread it properly. I'm thinking, okay, try on both. Okay, I put it down and I try thread it now. Yes, it should be down. It should be down. So it's threaded now. It should be down. It's threaded. Thank you. Whoever suggests, who is that that suggested that? M Maria. Yeah. While it's down, it threaded properly. Yep. So I push it back up. Oh. Now we're going for our first project on the PD800. Then I want to go the other way. I do not really like going in front of the camera. Like so I'm gonna be putting the just some just some just to try something. You know, we need to try something. Stabilizer, I want to put on it. I'll prefer to push the camera back, or do you want me to leave it this way, guys? Okay. Oh. She did she get yes I did. Yes I did. Hey Monique, Lakeisha, welcome. 
we are unboxing the pe 800 it's not for me don't say congratulations to me now it's for one of my subscribers she's here but she doesn't want to show her face she thinks i'm a super woman i'm a genomi woman and she brought me the brother machine and i'm employing everyone's help to teach her how to use this yes so we've been able to tread it successfully and we just want to try something out now oops it's not even showing my face at all oh okay let's continue with the machine the machine is really important anyway so i'm gonna put i am um trying to put um something on so we can try something on hi kim yes you missed a lot we've done a lot of sublimation and now we're unboxing the pe 800 <laughs> it's not mine do not tell me congratulations it's from one of my subscribers she lives very close to me and she's brought this to me because she doesn't know what to do with it and i do not either but she thinks i'm a superwoman and i can do everything <laughs> now i'm calling everyone to help me with it and that is what we're doing so today we've done sublimation we sublimated the t-shirt that i'm putting on i'll show you my face very soon and we've sublimated the stockings the stockings i was sewing last week we've sublimated on that as well and we are trying to unbox this we've unboxed the p800 we want to see how it works we just want to do a simple design just to be sure it works <laughs> hi to your subscriber hi subscribe can you show your face now can you show your face she's only laughing in the background <laughs> <laughs> they want to see your face because so you need to show your face now because <laughs> they're gonna think i'm really rich is this angela marie yes it is angela <laughs> yes it is she's here and she's not gonna show her face i'm hungry with her now because everyone will think i'm really rich and i've got another machine no one is gonna have <laughs> pity on me when i say i'm not rich anyways so i'll put the camera back and you can see my face yay i'm here <laughs> i'm back see we did this today a hundred percent polyester it is they say hi angela angela say hi to people hi everyone <laughs> <laughs> type in hi there let them know you're here <laughs> And tell them you're here and tell them thank you for helping us here now how did i guess angela because she's the only one from ireland that's why <laughs> most of my subscribers are from the us and i have some irish people but not a lot of them it's all in your head olu there's no subscriber ah, ha, ha. There is. She's here. You see? You see, Liz? Liz! I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that, Liz. <laughs> Thanks for much of all your help. What are you typing, Angela? Thanks so much for all your help. Oh, I like your shirt. Yes, we just sublimated this. Lakeisha, we did it just now. Sublimation Sunday was about this and the stocking. I'll show you the stocking now. Where's the stocking again? Here. And about this stocking. This is what we did today, Sublimation Sunday. This is an added bonus. The PE 800 is an added bonus to Sublimation Sunday. We did this and this today for Sublimation Sunday. Hmm. I think I should stay still. I can use that. <laughs> I can use that for my thumbnail. Now, thumbnail is done. <laughs> thumbnail is done now. Isn't that beautiful? Like, can you all see this? This is really, really beautiful. Up close. I would love to embroider that picture on my bag. Oh, I got this from Design Bundles now. I do not do my own designs. I buy them. I'm not patient enough. I wish I'm like Liz that can 
adjust and do a lot of things to the design. I can't. Not for the life of me. I can't. <laughs> now, you see that? I'm in love with this. These are my stockings, the one I made myself. I sew these stockings. I do not buy them. I sew them from my favorite crushed velour fabric. They are my favorite. Tell me you are a YouTuber without telling me you are a YouTuber. <laughs> Let me post for a thumbnail. Oh my God. <laughs> Liz, go away you now. <laughs> Stop making me laugh so hard. Now, so these stockings, I sew them myself and I make them stockings myself. They are really lovely stockings and I'm offering them this Christmas. I am in love with them. I decided to use this fabric because I've been using this fabric now for like six months for my pillowcases and I love them. They are really, really luxurious. Really, really luxurious. I love them. They feel so nice. They sublimate so well. They are 100% polyester. And that's why I've been using them. And I'm going to continue using them until I find another fabric that can do better than this. But for me, this is my best. <laughs> it's the best and I love it because everything I do on it comes out so very nicely. My t-shirt, I cannot offer this t-shirt because I only found it in the, in the school uniform shop. They were on clearance in the school uniform shop, but they are really nice one and they're 100% polyester. I'm in love with them. I got loads of them. I think I got like 10 of them and I'm going to be wearing them on my, by myself. I'm not selling to anybody. Just me. <laughs> you, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How better can this be? Five, ten minutes you have a stocking. Last year I sold um, embroidered stockings. And oh no. I had to rip. First, first I would have to rip before I can get them into my machine. And, and all that was. It was really stressful for me. Now, let's get back to our P800 now. Enough of all these thumbnail pictures. Ah. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> now, we want to try just one design. From this now, I get my scraps. I always have scraps to practice things on. And we can hoop it up here and... Ah, I have a scrap t-shirt. We hook the scrap t-shirt and we see how well a P800 can just, we just want to see it work anyway. We just want to see it work. <laughs> we just want to see the P800 work. I should get something easier to, to hoop. Not this one. I'm not stressing myself. <laughs> Ah, let me use the towel. Towel is another game. Okay. I can just cut a material from this. Or if I have... Oh, this will be good. What's this now? What's it called? Felt. I have a felt here. So we're just going to be trying it on this felt. I stand my thread real the side of my machine, making sure the thread runs freely. Oh, that that you have said now. Maria actually sent me thread stands. And they are a lifesaver. They've been making my work so easy. She sent me really nice ones. Oh, this is threaded. Maria from the UK, she was the one that sent me this. Maria, thank you so much. I love them and I've been enjoying making using them like Maria sent me this from the UK for free guys for free <laughs> thank you Maria thank you is she there is Maria there Maria where are you yeah I always use a stress stand I never put it inside the machine oh here ah she doesn't have a stress stand let's try put it here first then if it doesn't work we use the tread machine. We use the treader. We use the tread stand, I mean. But for now, 
Yeah, I always use a tress stand. Okay. Yeah, Maria, thank you. Thank you, Maria. I mwah, mwah, mwah. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Thank you so much. She sent them to me. She sent me. Can you believe three of them? Three. Three tread stand. I stand tread real of my beside it. Okay. We'll try. Let's let's try and even see if this is working. The first thing first. <laughs> I'm hoping the what do I call this thing? I keep forgetting the name of the felt. Yeah. I'm hoping a felt and we're gonna do our very first project on the PE 800 For everyone that has helped me, thank you. Special thanks to Nancy. Nancy, you are you are you are just a saver. Thank you so very much. Nancy has a PE 800 as well. Nancy has a YouTube. YouTube channel as well. So Maria, you should go look for Nancy because she would be, she would be a lifesaver like for you, because use, she uses the same machine and she does a lot of projects on that machine. So she's gonna be showing you how to use them. Now I think with the PE eight hundred now, the first thing I'll say, you see this um, what's it called? To make it tight, you would actually need um, a pencil, a rubber pencil, pencil grip. I would put a pencil grip on this because this would hurt your hand. Like with the with my Genomi one, it's it's really smooth and you wouldn't need that. But with this one, I think you would need it. And that's too tight now. Thread stands are awesome. I use them on my machine. Yes. Maria just showed me how to use. I didn't know how to use thread stand. Like I always said, I'm not an expert on these things. I'm learning like every other one of us. And you can see today I had to call you guys to come and help me. So. And that's why the community is good. You can always have someone to help you when you're stuck or almost stuck. There's always someone to call. Man, what's the stress with this one now? I'm just hooping my felt so we can do a simple design. Yeah. Now I've hooped the felt and let's see how to hoop the, the hoop. Yeah, relatively easy. Ah, that's easy. That's quite easy, like. <laughs> Anyways, we've chosen one of the designs that came with it. And we're going to watch it. Let's see. Watch it, sew it. Down. It's gone down and we're ready. Ah. Finish editing patterns. Do I have to edit? Set. Okay. Okay. And edit. Okay. Now. Ah. Nine minutes. Okay. Ah. Whoa. <gasps> what? <laughs> check thread, check and retread the upper thread. Okay. I think we had, I was saying it because the upper thread was hard. Like it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah. Something is not right. It's too hard. It shouldn't be hard. Something doesn't seem right. Okay. Just the way. There. It's still. The tension on that now. Okay, I'll put it on a trader and let's see. Because the tension for me was immediately was a no no sign. 
another trader from Maria. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Um, how do I use that? <laughs> I'm putting it on the trader now, so let's see. Maybe that makes any difference. Well, I think the tension is hard. I don't think any kind of sewing machine should have that much tension on them. But then, we'll see. Nancy, are you still there, though? Hey, Miss Crafty Creations. I don't know your name, but hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We've done a sublimation Sunday. We've done sublimation on stockings and the t-shirts I'm putting on. And right now, we're unboxing the P800 for one of our subscribers. And we're teaching her and showing her how to do it. All of us, we're doing it together. Like, I've never seen this before today. It's my first time setting my eyes on the P800. But then, it is what it is. Six. That's six, seven, down and thread. So thread again. Yep, threaded. Threaded again. It's quite easy to use from the little I see. I will push this down. To get it out of the way there okay so we continue we just have to press this how do we go back now uh, how do you go back guys still driving oh nancy um there plus one plus ten Let's see minus. Yep. I get it. Okay. We went back. We went back by one. Oops. That didn't tread. Can you see that? Uh, I hate the treaders because I don't use them. I don't use automatic treaders. But then we would use it because we're trying to teach her how to use this now. So we go back. Seven. And then we push that down. Okay. That was really easy. <laughs> you did tread? Yes, it did. I think the more you use any kind of machine, the better you get at using it. So we should all, you love Nancy's channel. Yep. They're talking to you now. I'll go back about five stitches or so, maybe even 10. Okay. So anytime you have to restart a project, go back. I'll show you again. But now they're showing us. So I go to this needle 10, minus 10. Yeah, I went back 10. I think 10 brings it to the beginning, which is good. The press all look the same with the genome. I know, I know. I just don't want to be too forward like... I like to say I do not know so that I can learn. Uh, guys, there's something wrong with the tension here. There's something wrong with the tension. See, it's really, really hard. It shouldn't be this hard. Uh, no, thread shouldn't be that hard on anything like. So, we say, is this, how do I know? The same, yeah. Thread, 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 thread. Okay. 
So it's going to show us what it will do. That is the same with my machine. Guys, we're not getting the hang of this now. How do you remove this from the machine? Pull it up. There, up. Okay, press back and pull up. That's easy. Try with straight stand. Yeah, it's on the straight stand already. But I think I'm doing something wrong around here. It's around here. That's where it gets hard. One. I'm following the signs. One goes up to two. Two to three. Three to four. Four to five. Yeah. Five to six. Six to seven. Seven. And press, push down to thread. Yep. Yeah. It's trading, we don't have any problem. I don't think there's any problem there. But then the tension around here, I do not trust that tension. I think it's too much for any kind of machine. No machine should have that hard tension to sew properly. Now, is anyone try with the thread stand here? I've read, read that already, so I'll go back again. Let's see. Oof. Marie, you're hiding your face and <laughs> and I'm here struggling with your machine. There, guys, any put the thread stand behind the machine, okay? Behind the machine. Thread stand behind the machine. Okay. Is machine an automatic tension? Can you go setting to change it? Let's say the setting. I don't like touching any kind of tension because most times when you have problems with machines is because you're fumbling too much with it. They are built to work perfectly. Hear your face. Ah, no, nah, we can't see your face from there. Now let's try and let's see, let's see. Let's run another project. I will go. Uh, no. People, how do I get to the to the design on my stick? How do we get there? How do we go back? Oh. oh. Now, let's see. Are we just doing one thing? Oh. Guys, don't leave me to this now. <laughs> oh, I think it's cutting the thread. I I think it, this is my mistake now. How do I go back? Guys, how do I go back? If we just want to start from the beginning, how do I go back? There's a home button on my one. There's no home button here now. This one. Nope. Embroidery. Yep. Hey, where are my people? Help. Oh, that shows how to thread it. See, easy. Ah, we've done the right thing there. There, what's that now? There, back, back. <gasps> <gasps> Guys, where are you? Okay, we're back here. Raise the leg, it's up. Oh, tell me, understand. Okay, showing us what to do. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's to cut the that's to cut, okay? Trader. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. Just what we've done. Okay. Okay. There are step by step instructions there. I will look at a go. My head's hurting pretty bad. Oh, no problem, Liz. Go get a nap. We're almost done here as well. As long as much, as soon as we get it working, we'll be done. We just want to get it working. Guys, how do you go back on this machine? Okay. Okay, let's see. It's working. I'm checking on my relation. <laughs> it's working perfectly. Yay! It's working. Thank you, everyone. It's working. <laughs> it's not a bad machine it's a really pretty good one like it's just we might need more hoops and i think hoops will be available if you want to buy there should be hoops oh Lou, i got okay i read that here yeah. now i think we got the P800 working, and all you need to do is now sit down and read a lot of... Ah, we have to read this now. But we got the P800 working, and we achieved the aim of sublimating. If you don't mind and you want to support my business, you want to buy one of these, please do. It's on my website. It's also on Etsy. It's more expensive on Etsy, and you all know why it's more expensive on Etsy. I have loads of design, and I'm coming up with more designs for this, um, for the stockings. I did the stock sewing of these stockings myself. I did the sublimation myself. So you won't be disappointed with these stockings because I do the same, and I know what a good stocking is. I know what a good blank is to sublimate on. So this is what we've done today, and we did this T-shirt as well. I gave tricks and tricks and tips on how to do sublimation without crying, <laughs> without feeling disappointed. So if you're just joining us, you might want to watch this live stream again, even though it's almost one and a half hours. You can watch it again. If you want to support my business, I would advise, please, Get some of these stockings for yourself or for family members, and I'll be glad. Thank you. And I think I'll be ending the live stream now because we've we'll be, we'll successfully got this working. I would like to show Marie everything and how I threaded it and how we got it to work. Thank you so very much, everyone. If you haven't thumbs up to this video, please do thumb up to the video. I... I will be happy if you do that because more people will be able to see it. And I will be uploading more videos. Please watch my videos. If you've not subscribed and you watch my videos, please do subscribe. I'll be glad to have you subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you. How do I end this? End, end, end.